Hello and welcome back to Moonring. Um, we're gonna start by waiting out madness. I'm just gonna hold the button down. Is that actually doing anything? It doesn't. It's hard to tell because everything's flashing. I don't think it was actually doing anything. Um, but uh, you know what? We found a dungeon out in the wilderness. I don't know what uh, it, we're gonna find in this place, but hopefully, it's a clue. I, I'm definitely at the point where it's like, I don't want, like, I know kind of what I need to do. I need to find some great keys. It might be that there's only well, like the one great key. And so therefore you got to choose which legendary weapon you want. Um, all we know is where the like tomb of the bow is. So it, uh, you know, we could, we could get a legendary bow if we wanted. I'm not a huge fan of the range combat in this game. Usually range combat is like necessary in traditional roguelikes, but I've been really kind of enjoying um, Just like melee combat. Maybe I'm just smooth brained like that uh, All right, we want to Get this Rosetta. Wow, we got a free Rosetta. That's nice. Didn't we get a new item? That needs uh, to be Figured out where is where's is our Rosetta? Oh, this is an alchemy We have no unidentified objects. Okay. Oh God. I guess we are going to be fighting undead dweebs here. That kind of sucks, but you know, not, not uh, unexpected. Hopefully we can kill a, a couple of them uh, with some range combat just so we can get our, uh, you know, check a box here. How much, or how close are we by the way? Uh, 36 we need to kill 14 and en more enemies with range combat and then I basically never have to touch the bow again Um, I just don't like missing like Unless the enemy dodges you rarely actually miss When you're using melee and I'm not a huge fan of missing with the bow which ha happens like a lot <laughs> Maybe it's because my, um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's dexterity. Wow, that sucks. We just, we're just taking raw damage from that. I'm gonna go ahead and convert our flaming into, uh, into health. Hot. This thing is like zipping all around, so it could be that you know, that's why it's, it's hard to hit. But all the same, oh no. Um, okay, we're gonna start doing pen shots. Ooh, the pen shot really hit hard. That was nice. We should do more pen shots when we can. These guys have a lot of movement speed. But also I guess we're, we, we have little comparatively. Another Rosetta Stone. We might want to start selling those, to be honest. I don't know how uh, many, like, artifacts there are in the world. That was nice. I don't know if this spell counts as ranged. 44. They must be. We only need to kill six more enemies. I'm, I'm actually very grateful we got that spell because it's doing a lot to make killing enemies a lot easier for me. Ooh, good, moldy mushroom pie. Actually, I'm going to eat that, as disgusting as it is. You are rotting, that's fine. Another Rosetta Stone, wow. That's, we're, we're getting a lot of Rosetta Stones. Oh no, <laughs> that's okay, we, we can deal with this guy now. Um, fortunately, I did not get hit by my own bloodstone. What the heck are you, bud? Can't catch me. Uh, you're right, I can't catch you. 
Well, we, we hit him, and he also is running through fire. He, he has a key. We need that key. Ooh, that was a nice hit. Need chest key. I guess he's got the chest key. We'll see if we can't get that from them. They're like a little gnome. Are they like a little undead gnome? Come here. Come here. No, wrong button. Yes. Got a chest key. Cool. Uh, here comes another undead fellow. Just want to get get my range kills. I got a large copper key. Nice. That'll probably open a door. Let's go open this chest, though. Oh, are you kidding me? Another Rosetta, huh? I mean, that's fine. Those are worth something. But, like, we're getting a lot of those. Except for Leaf. Oh, God. Another this. Another of these dudes. Uh, we didn't. We have an antidote. I think that's one of the reasons they hurt so badly is they have poison. So let's go to our alchemy. We have tons of potion of antidote. Where is our antidote? There we go. Drink. So we don't have to take damage uh, that we don't have to take. You know, that's sometimes. I know that's uh, goofy, but. This guy's gonna break my poise, but not before I kill. Well, okay, yeah, before before I kill him. <laughs> this guy is he he really does love running back and forth. Don't talk to me before I have my black water draft. We're definitely gonna get this completed. Oh, we only have to do one more range kill, and then we're done. Bloop. Come on. 50 enemies using only ranged weapons. Two devotion. What do we get for that? We have two devotion for the Sanguine Moon. Um, that's the one, I guess that's the one we were working towards. Uh, which is nice. I think I might save up for something better. Also, we have, uh, when did we get to for the Great Forest Wolf? Successfully hunted deer. Oh, find a legendary sword club. Defeat a relic guardian. Mm -hmm. Well, we have more things to do, obviously. Uh, but we're done hunting, we're, we're done attacking things at ranged. I mean, to be fair, it's not like it's it's been bad for us, um... We've been killing things without taking damage, which is kind of nice. But we've also been, you know, killing things while we took damage. <laughs> like, undoubtedly, me ooh, melee is just better in some ways. We got some nectar. Ancient metal. Holy bread. Oh, sorry, not holy bread. Moldy bread. We'll eat that. I don't even think like we're not done in this dungeon yet. We we haven't really gotten the item that the dungeon is keeping. But we're getting there. Refill lamp. Is that wait, that's it? Did we get everything? I guess we must have? Bale's tomb. This is Bale's tomb? There must be something here. There must be something more, like, valuable than, like, nothing. <laughs> I don't seem to recall ever seeing anything of, like, value. Oh yeah, we have to fight undead as well, don't we? Like, so we're also accomplishing that goal. Who wants us to- is it, to uh, blind angels? Beat 10 enemies, destroy 100 undead. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. We have Bale's key. Tools. Trade. Quests. 
Painting graving mentioning the serpent's eye. Um, where did I see? I have Bale's key, right? Where is Bale's key? Bale's key. It was created by Ander, Andre Bale, Arosh's student, in order to seal and unseal certain standing stones shortly after the cataclysm. His reason for doing so is not clear. Oh, we can use it? But is there anything here that we would want to use it on? Right, this is Bale's tomb, but apparently... Bale's key serves no purpose here. Honestly, thank goodness we have some uh, amber lamp oil. I should use them. Um, like, I, I have spare lamp oil and I never use it. Okay, this is a good use of that spell. What is that? Towel? Excuse me? Why, why do we have a towel? This is this is when range combat is actually good. Wow, that really started quite the fire, didn't it? <laughs> well, I didn't start the fire, and I'm also not going to keep it going. Let me see. Wait, do we have some more healing potions? We do just the one normal one. We have lots of large healing potions, and we've also got a lot of um, blood, but not a lot to do with it. Ooh, so I guess we're heading towards this, whatever that is. Where is the... Where is the necro... Um, hold on. Yeah, there's a necropolis. So there's something apparently to our north. I would like to check out what that is. As long as we're here, you know? Nice. That went very well. Let's get some more blood if we can. I wish we could, like, permanently improve how much energy we have. But I guess we get it back pretty quickly. It's, you know, not a big deal. Um, let's eat some food. starting to feel like I should be eating it as soon as I get it, you know? Herb here. Let's get the get the herb. Herbs are good. Dream sap. I don't know what those are for. Oh, those shiny bats really are a problem. And po po <laughs> poise broken, huh? Please. Please. Nice. Double kill. We took a lot of damage there. Like, way more than than we need. The bats in this game kind of suck. For, like, how feeble I feel like they should be. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. It really, it really bites. Okay, we've got a... Ooh. I don't know what that is. We've got a stone just kind of standing there. We've got a mystery in the in the mountains. Um Guess I'll fight some bugs. Uh would like to I guess throw a moonstone here. Ooh. Did I get hit by my poison? No. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't get hit by my, my bleeding. I got hit by poison. That's fine. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'm gonna collect some fur and some food. And we'll eat the food right away. All right. 
Oh, okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling tired <laughs> Like we've been we've been traveling for a while and I, I feel like I haven't really seen Anything we saw the tomb of Baal, which you would think would be something you would think that that would like mean something And it kind of felt like it didn't mean anything like there wasn't even anything there that I felt like I didn't You know, I didn't have the means to complete yet Okay, this is good. We are okay. We know this place. So we've. This is another. Another kind of like um, checkbox ticked. We know we've. We have a connection to two other places from here. Um, we're starting to see a, a kind of a network. I'm wondering if it's gonna like be a, a full star at the end. We haven't been north here. There's like somewhere north we can go there. Um. Well, this is this is good. What does this say? Burning rock and in the distance a town glowing deep within a ravine. That must be uh, Barrow Lynn. Spores of decay, dank, moist earth, and a twinkle of lights in the distance. Yeah, so that's just like describing the different ruins, right? So that one must be Herodus. Herodus is kind of in the mushroom place. Um, but it's not showing one to the northeast, right? These, these ones are broken. But then again... That doesn't mean they don't exist. That means they used... These, these used to exist, and there was five other ruins represented do these kind of rep they don't uh the annoying thing is they they don't really represent directions right this this goes west but it points to berlin right um so it, do it doesn't really like represent a direction unless the direction is representative of a different center right so barrow lynn might be west of over here but then again this place here i don't know is this north is this northeast um lots of questions i don't have the answers to but the good news is that we've been here and we connected th this place and uh you know it's part of the network So, um, next up, well, we would like to go to the island to the northwest, but it, it, it you know, that's not really going to happen, unfortunately. Um, Temple of the Bow, Poison Cross, I guess we should go to the Poison Cross at some point. We have to collect some of that ender plant business trying not to get ambered right now um okay so where can we go from here we could go directly east i feel like we should just stop at red grove for a moment and leave we'll definitely be going to the necropolis at some point as an oh that's the heart temple we haven't been to the Heart Temple. Uh, I guess I'm going to be fighting this guy. Um, can you stop dodging, please? And now, and now we're bleeding. Well, at least we killed everyone. We got a short sword. A little bit exploitative, but we definitely recover from bleeding quicker. Uh, I'm bleeding. Bummer. I'm bleeding and I'm everythinged. I am like everythinged. <laughs> uh, we're gonna bleed to death unless I use a potion. There must be some kind of healing potion. Good against bleeding. I'm, I'm kind of tired of this. <laughs> Effects are definitely detrimental and at least partially entertaining. 
Um, known to cause explosive effects when thrown. Poison. Silence. Uh, stunning. These are potions that are effective to throw. Bitterleaf Brew. It seems like the these black ones here are good for throwing, and then the white ones are good for drinking. Uh, none drink it for f its flavor, but many an amber maddened traveler has been thankful for its effect. Okay, so this is good for getting rid of madness. We like that. Um, nectar is good not to invoke the gods' displeasure. What? Helping restore balance to those who are stunned. Okay, well, we're not stunned. We would like to be not bleeding. Ability to stave off rot. For centuries, Sarah bushes were believed to unable to grow near mushrooms, but the truth is quite the reverse. Cures blindness. Cures deafness. Um... Unsure the user ensure the user will see nothing for a period of time and is often used in rituals by the angels, right? We probably want to use these at some point. Staria root. You know what? Replenishes energy. Let's do that. And then we can use our conversion to get some health back and get rid of bleeding. There we go. I'm starting to learn. Um, bitter brew is, is yeah let's get rid of madness nice okay uh, I'm, I'm figuring things out uh, we're, we're maddened again we're John maddened really don't want to um, do we have I don't probably don't have enough timber huh How much timber do we have? Or kindling? Like, one. <laughs> That's a bummer. Um, we can repair a broken construct, I suppose. I, I really just want to, like, not die and also not end up in combat. You know? You know? I kind of just don't want to die. I want to go to the Temple of Heart. I'm hoping that that will have uh, a health increase. Oh, jeez. Why? Uh... I I'm going to Why are we we're, we're vulnerable? We have no poise, so we're going to take pure damage. I gotta, I gotta drink a potion. I gotta do it. Sucks. We would have died, and then we're still going to actually. Yeah, we died. My God, that's annoying. Well, at least I literally just made a checkpoint, and we know where we're going. Don't we have some amber oil? Guess not. Just trying to get out of here. Wow, we killed the we could have killed those spiders in one hit. Instead, took a damage like a nerd. Gonna have to kill that spider. Bloodstone. Did I get, why did I get hit by, oh, I guess they died and then the thing went through and hit me. It's fine. We have enough effects right now that I should be able to convert them into health. I just gotta wait a little bit. Okay, hey, that's enough waiting. That's a lot of health we just got back. You know, weirdly enough, I don't know if this is a, a bug. I don't think this is intended, but it seems like when I'm like insane, the best thing I can do is use range because I never 
like it, it, it does madness doesn't affect range attacks the same way okay Ooh, is that just a freebie nice oh that's so good that is actually gonna help quite a bit okay i'm glad i stuck around to find that now we can check out the poison cross Let's check out the poison cross. All right. Um, what do we got here? Anything cool? Ah, I, I really just don't want to hang out in Amber right now. I don't want to fight this either, TBH. Oh, is there no map here? Or, uh, or sorry, bridge? There's a bridge. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to walk through the amber. I almost, I almost killed a deer while insane. Aw, oh, jeez. Just want to leave. I, I just want to leave. I don't want to fight any of this. I don't... I do not want to get involved. Please leave me out of your gremlin rituals. Okay. We're heading east and then north a bit. Ooh. I don't think I've been to these ruins. I'm going to go ahead. I mean, we've set a checkpoint, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just kind of deal with this ruin. Uh, I guess I'm not going to deal with this ruin because it's completely unenterable. Really wish I could figure out how to open those. Okay. Well, it still counts towards our uh, finding, like, a enough ruins, you know, that our one devotion thing. Ow. So these just do pure damage. Can we... Can we throw some rocks? <laughs> Uh, I know they I said that they were worthless but can we throw some rocks can can you can you throw it where I want you to throw it can you throw it where I want you to throw it though seems like uh, you can't use rocks to trigger traps kind of nice if you could okay I guess we're just taking... Uh, I, yeah, and I definitely threw that down on that trap, but apparently that didn't work. We're going to have to take a bunch of damage here, and I, I know it's not going to be worth it. Like, this is 100% not worth it. What does this towel do? It can be used to dry wet things. Its fragility renders it a single-use item. Wow, what a, what a nothing item. Uh, you know what really sucks about this? Why is there no trap here? What really sucks is that we it, we take 250 damage. Poison gas trap. I'm sure there's going to be another way to do this, right? Where we don't have to take all the damage in the world. This seems pretty, like, yeah, god damn it. Locus device fragment. Okay, well, I was wrong. There definitely, it definitely was worth it. There's something that, that feels, like, relevant to something. Locus. Where is it? Locus device fragment. These were created to allow the Sibirin to view far-off places and often implanted in devices used 
for far scrying and travel. Okay, that seems really cool. That was the poison cross. Uh, may as well have a little wander around here. I don't think it's going to be too dangerous. Uh, we can go east from here. I have a funny feeling we would find a um, our last town, and we would actually get some devotion. Two de like two separate devotion goals would be obtained for that, because then we would have been to all. Oh God, please! The amber, it's like following me. <laughs> Um, we have one devotion for like visiting. Oh god, that looks spooky Visiting every single city and then we have one for visiting um, The last one Because it's the one that belongs to a certain god Okay, don't oh, please Oh, that was spooky I don't want to know what the deal is with that dude Visit all major towns. Your actions please the blind angels. Visit the angels' hometown. So we just got four devotion um, with the angels. We could potentially um, actually take their summon. It'd be kind of cool. I don't know if I care about anything else they have. Consecrate the area around you, stopping those within its bounds doing harm. It's kind of neat. Reduce the time of all status effects currently afflicting you and convert the energy into bolts of dark damage, which target every foe. Um, that's kind of nice. It seems like all of these do something similar. Uh, not really, I guess. Sense the presence of all living things. Uh, move instantly to any unoccupied location you can see. But suffer blindness when you arrive. Warning, if you move to a spot you cannot walk to... You'll have to wait for blindness to wear off before you can leap again. I mean, I won't lie, that sounds really good, but I think I have to take the summon. Because it would be nice to have, like, any summon. <laughs> Alright, um, I know it's going to be kind of a short episode, but I think I'd like to end things there. For various reasons, you are too amber addled to speak coherently. Okay. Um, well, we'll wait for a little bit. I'll wait for to become to, to sober up basically and then we'll rest at the sin and um, We will end things if you are enjoying this series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy